Yo, yo, yo. What's good? What's good? How y'all doing? It's your boy, no excuse in the building. You know what I mean? In the back, I got, you know what I mean? The world-renowned international zoo, Barber World TV. You know what I mean? That's the homie. So um, I'm going to bring him up. You know what I mean? Introduce him. Let him introduce himself. And we're going to get right to it, man. What's good, bro? What up, my brother Rob? <laughs> Finally. Oh, I'm, I'm, excuse me. I'm a little bit tired, man. A little. I've been on a tour all day today, man. Oh, man. No, I, I, I understand, man. I didn't do no tours, man. Uh, I was straight on some other stuff. But, uh, but yeah, right. man. A lot of dudes do be on that, but at least Zoe, Zoe got to do the tours. That's that's what I really like. Okay. That's, that's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. So um, I'm pretty sure a lot of the um, people that that subscribe to my channel, you know what I mean, familiar with your content, there may be a few that's not. So I'm going to be a little redundant. I'll go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to see if I can send a link to a few people while we talk. Go ahead. I'm listening. Okay. Cool, cool. So I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna um just ask you, um, you know, I mean, just when did you start at international travel? Let them know who is international zone, Barbara Royal TV, and then um, you know, what I mean, then you could just talk about some of the countries that you visited, and then you know, your 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 most favorite and maybe least favorite if you want to mention that. All right. <laughs> it's your boss, International Zone, Barber World TV. Uh, I'm from New York, born in Brooklyn, raised in Harlem. Um, been in the entertainment industry and barber industry, barber and beauty industry most of my life. I was a dancer, I was a rapper, I was a barber, I'm a shop owner, a teacher, the state board examiner, the whole nine. When I do it, I do it big. And um, my first introductory to traveling started with the music industry. And it started in 1989. Um, I was a dancer for the rap artist Special Leg. That's a little old school for some of you young boys. But you know, I guess his most famous song is I Got It Made. And um, I was on tour with him for two years. Along that time, I was still a barber. When I wasn't doing shows, I was cutting at the shop. And then after working with him for two years, I st started my own rap group from my dance group, Jiggy. And we had a, a self-titled album. We had two singles, two videos, posted up raking in a dough. And I, so during that time, I was a barber. Then after that, I became a shop owner you know, so I've been in business as a shop owner, entrepreneur for going on 26 years. Okay. Always traveled after the, the music opened my nose. The music business opened my nose to travel. And there was no stopping after that. You know, I, I couldn't travel the way I wanted to because, sorry, excuse me. Soon after that, I had children, you know, I had business, but I traveled as a family. My children had they passports one and three years old, you know what I mean? So we traveled as a family and when they got older and, you know, I became single again, I just got back on my travel thing. Like I always love to. Okay, cool. Cool. So what's like, I guess, uh, some of your, uh, your most visited countries or most frequent co countries you visit. My most frequent is, is the big, I call them the big three. A lot of people coin, coin, I coined that phrase. Holla at your boy. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I know that's DR, Colombia, and Brazil. Those are my most frequent because two proximity for two of them. Oh, and man. then I just kind of fell in love with Brazil once I started going there in 2018. I just, I just like the vibe there. And um, I like the people, I like the women, and I, it's so much to explore there. You know, I've been to five cities in Brazil, so it's not just Rio, 
But every time I come and I touch down in Rio, on every visit, I visit another city. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I see somebody in the background. I only, I don't know how you got the link, bro. But this, this is just I've been, me. I've been sending the links to people. That's why I try. That's why I didn't mean you sent to. Stream your link or the YouTube link. Oh, the stream yard. Oh, I sent the wrong link. My bad. <laughs> I think somebody sent you the wrong link, brother Sam. Hey, yeah, I sent the wrong link. Sorry. Tell them my bad. <laughs> I sent them the wrong link. <laughs> you know, I ain't used to doing these lives, man. I'm used to sitting down and doing my interviews with people. My bad. I'm going to make that correction. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of, you know, started traveling in 1989 you know and i think 1990 i went to my first big international flight was japan and i didn't even go there with uh special ed i went there with my group my dance group jiggy mm -hmm. and uh japan was dope that's when i got my passport in 1989 and i had a passport ever since you know what i mean so i know you some of you guys just got your passport you know, three years ago, five years ago, one year ago, I had my passport since 1989. Okay. So you yeah. wasn't, you know what I mean? So you wasn't one of the brothers that maybe got inspired by traveling from like some of the Facebook uh, legacy travel groups or being in a WhatsApp group. You pretty much was traveling on your own without any social media influence. Yeah, I'm not, I don't, I know. You know, I don't consider myself a passport bro. You know what I'm saying? And and there's no disrespect to nobody, but I was I'm more I consider myself just an explorer. Right. You know what I mean? I've loved to travel. I love to see different people, different cultures. And um I was doing it even after the music with my family. You know, my kids had stamps on their passport. So I just love to travel in general. And through the traveling, I had my YouTube channel. My basis of my YouTube channel initially was I used to do barber competitions in New York. Okay. And I used to teach classes. So I used to go to hair shows across the country. So my Barber World TV channel was based on the barber industry initially. Okay. And then I kind of stopped using it for five years because I wasn't doing any more hair shows, any more barber competitions. My, my, my show was called the New York City Barber Battle. And I did that for five years. I would go to the Brown and Brothers show in Atlanta, film that. I would go to the Proud Lady show in Chicago, film that. So I would go to the shows in California. So it, I was interviewing barbers. I was covering the barber industry events initially. Then it went dormant because I stopped doing that. Just got tired running around, you know, state to state. Uh, I used to have barber t-shirts, barber capes. I used to do all that kind of stuff. So when I started traveling again, I already had the name. And initially when I did start traveling, I was visiting barber shops. I was interviewing barbers in different countries. But I got tired of it because there's only so many questions that I could ask them. You know, how long you've been cutting, the, you know, what clippers you use, what inspired you to be a barber, you know, it was the same question. So, right. and I was always doing the tourist attractions when I went somewhere and then the nightlife, you know what I mean? And so it just started leaning towards the other things I was doing during my travel. And I waned off the uh, visiting barbershops, even though I still do. But like I, I went to a barbershop here in Cape Town, but no, nobody don't really want to see that. <laughs> okay, at least that's what they showed me. That they don't want to see that, you know what I mean? They 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 want to see. I don't even think they want to see the tourist attractions as much as I want it. But I'm not going to stop doing that. Right, right, right. They want to see the nightlife, and they want to see the chicks, which is cool because I like those things too. Yeah, I'm still going to do my tourist. Listen, I go to every natural wonder of the world, eighth wonder of the world, seventh wonder of the world, anywhere I go and they have those type of attractions and I go places because of those type of attractions as well. I'm going to go there. I'm going to cover it. And um, that's just part of what I like to do. Okay. 
So yeah, let's we, before we get into South Africa real quick, I just want to get some more, you know, just leading up to that. So in regards to your content, and um, you know, I'm gonna show your page, you know, um, later on. But um, as far as the content goes, I want to kind of talk about how I first uh, was aware of your content. You know what I mean? So it was like, so you mentioned you mentioned you don't consider yourself a passport, bro. And uh -huh. like, um, I had a discussion with some other YouTubers about the the terminology and passport, bro, is not something that us brothers gave ourselves. It was other people that call that call us that. You know what I mean? Whether they utilize it in a positive light, if I remember correctly. So you turned it into a positive, you know. Yeah. So I, I so so I, I clean I I cre we cre I create the the definition. Don't don't let I don't let outside people create the definition. But what I right. did, but what I have learned was that, like somebody like Kevin Samuels, for example, they call him a guru, but he didn't call himself a, a dating coach guru. Guru. So right. even though people may label us that, we may not call ourselves that, but I embrace it because you know. I could, I, I, I'll make it, I'll turn a pop, a negative into a positive if I can't, you know what no I mean? Doubt. Um, but yeah, so I think I came aware of your content, just, you know, people share YouTube links in different tribal groups. I was pretty big right. on Facebook and a lot of the larger Facebook groups. And then right. kind of started the YouTube game late. And then when I seen your content, I was like, man, who is this motherfucker, man? I was like, he, uh, <laughs> I was like, man, he running it up. I was like, he running it up, and I was, I was kind of salty, bro, because I, I know he, this is before I met you, but I was like, damn, dog. I was like, why, why haven't I, what, why wasn't I doing this shit? Well, I should have been doing this shit, but I was just like, you know, niggas in the, niggas in the Facebook groups were so against putting stuff out on YouTube, so I was just kind of like, you know, I mean, I was just trying to stay in good graces with them, but I was like, man, fuck this shit, man, like. You know, what I mean, I'm on the late, I'm on the late bus, but yeah, but yeah, your content was like, man, like you do the late, like for those who don't know, he does the um the late night thirst, you know what I mean, where he, he pretty much posted up, you know what I mean, with with whoever, you know what I mean. And, um, I seen the late night thirst with um, I seen the late night thirst with uh in Cape Town, you did. Um, I don't know, if that's up or, I don't know if that's up still. Not that with Tanzania. Oh, the one I just did here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. See that one got taken out of context. It's the whole late night thirsting, it was organic. I didn't think to do that. I was in Brazil. I had a gorgeous girl with me. And I just said, let me I see, I see people go live. Um, you know, go live and they don't really be talking about nothing. So I never wanted to go live. I didn't un really understand that whole live thing. But I said, if I go live, I want it to mean something to people. I want people, I want, you know what I'm saying? So when I said, let me try it, and it was with a beautiful girl. Oh, my gosh, she was beautiful. And dudes went crazy. So I did it like five nights in a row. <laughs> and that's, and I said, when I said it, and I made up the terminology, the late night thirst, because the dudes was acting thirsty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the kids used to say like, oh, the thirst is real or something like that. So I was like, yo. Is, I'm gonna call this shit the late night thirst, and that I just came up with it. And I just thought I just stuck with it. It was fun. It was funny. I just really did it, and the, and girls was like happy to be on camera. So it was just it was really organic. You know what I'm saying? I didn't like say, hmm, let me let me see what I could do. And then I started thinking about you know the ramifications sometimes of showing all of that. So I start. I'll let her. I'll do it. I'll let it go for the eat for the night. And in the morning, I'll make it private for my members. That's why people can't really oh, still see it. That's why it always comes down because I think it's just too much information. You know what I mean? So if you're up at night and you catch it, it's like a treat. And after that, once the morning come, I wake up, it might be at 5,000 views. Now I could OD and just let it go to 100 to 200,000 because some of them were really good. But to me, it's just too much information. And I think, I fault myself for, for, you know, like sending the wrong message, I guess, or not looking at the possibilities of who I'm inspiring to travel. Right. You know what I mean? Because that's why I started uh, talking to girls on the beach. Cause I was like, it's looking a little sketchy, dumb in my crib all the time. 
you know what I'm saying, <laughs> at night. So I, I, I and I haven't done one in like months, but I was like, let me do one. I'm I'm in um I'm here in, in Cape Town, but it went all wrong to me. Now dudes are like, yo, that was dope. That was the best one you did. And I'm like, yo, Shorty was bucked out. You know what I'm saying? Like she went over the top. You know what I'm saying? And so <laughs> it's just it's funny to me, man. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 was, it was lit, man. It was lit. So if y'all ain't if y'all if y'all weren't able to see it, I would suggest y'all subscribe, join um yeah. as a member, and then you can see it. So right. um, so how we got to how we got you know what I mean with South Africa. So you know what I mean I linked with Zoe. Um, we actually ran into each other in Brazil, and um, that's the first time I met him. And I, I was surprised, you know what I mean, how cool you was, how down to earth you was, because a lot, a lot of times people have these misconceptions about a person until they meet, until you meet in person. So you, you know what I mean. So you know what I mean, Zoe. You know what I mean. He, he been subscribed to me day one. You know what I mean, and um, you know always show love, and I, I appreciate you for that. You know what I mean, like no fake, no fake energy. Never right. no energy, man. So I appreciate and got much love for you for that. Um, so while we were in Brazil, I think um, I think I had already been in South Africa already. And so a lot of people yeah. was like, you know, telling uh, Zoe, like, you know, what I mean, like, you know, uh, like Rob, no excuse, man. Like, you know, he out here, too. You know what I mean? And then we started talking about South Africa and we were supposed to link in south africa yeah you know, and um i really wanted that that i really me, wish me that, too you know too. But, you know that was that, that, was, was, that was round two so my second round to south africa me and him was supposed to link but yeah. um it didn't happen but we're gonna we're gonna link we're gonna link in the future on some trip well, look, you still the reason i'm here because you kind of inspired me to come to south africa I had already been to Tanzania by the time we met, I believe. And you started telling me about South Africa and Durban. And I was like, yo, that sounds like a plan. And you really like you, you like you are you are a promoter of Africa. You know what I'm saying? Out of a lot of the dudes, like you promote Africa a lot. And you inspired me to go. You know, if I didn't get caught up with the business that I had, I was trying to uh, pull off. I would have been there. I would have been there with you. So that's why I still decided to come. And even though you told me, yo, it's like wintertime now, I was like, I, I, it's just on my, it's, it's just, it's on my list of things to do. And um, I was like, I'm still, I'm going to go. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm here. I didn't get to Durban because that's where we were supposed to go, but I'm still going to go to Durban. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So he, once he go to Durban, you know what I mean? I, I plan on doing a part two with him about Durban. So let's get to Cape Town, man. So you went Cape Town. When did you touch down? What airline yeah. did you fly? And did you get hit over here with, with the flight price, man? I uh, flew United. Okay. It was a straight flight from Newark. You know what I mean? So it, every it was it, it was actually, you know, it was a regular, it was regular seat. It wasn't nothing special. And uh, you know, even in my video, I said, I feel like I'm a professional traveler now because. Yo, I did that with no problem. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people say, yo, I can't fly unless I'm first class. I can't fly no long flights unless I'm first class. Yo, I did that joint. It was no problem for me, man. I got off the plane with energy. I put my bags down, hooked up with my boy Smitty, and we went out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's, you know, that type of thing for me is, you know, I'm seasoned. I, I Flying for long hours don't bother me, especially if it's a night flight. You know, I slept a lot of the time. Okay. Yeah, I'm familiar with that United flight, man, straight to Cape yeah. Town, man. And, yeah. Uh, so I tell people that um, you could do it two ways. What I did was, well, when I went to South Africa the first time, I flew into Cape Town and I flew home out of Johannesburg so I could right. kill two birds with one stone. So you can mix and match or you can fly in and out of one city. So, um, so yeah, so tell us, man, your first impressions of Cape Town, your first impressions of South Africa, man. Let us know what, you know what I mean, just what, what hit you when you first um, touched down, your first I got there, When I got there, the um, immigration was easy, flew through, just asked me why I was here, bags, bags was already on the, on the carousel by the time I came out. I, I get out the um, airport, I see they have a beautiful sunset. 
that's the first thing I noticed. They have a beautiful sunset every day, you know? So I see the sunset is beautiful. I get an Uber. That's a, that's a plus. You ain't got to worry about converting money soon. I go, I get me a, a SIM card and um, I uh, pick me an apartment that's looking at um, Table Mountain. So it's close. I'm right down the street from um, Cubanas and and Long Street. I'm I'm in the happening area. I'm I'm real close to a uh, VNA uh, waterfront. We went over there. We was going we was going to go to Silo, but they was closed by the time we got there. So we ended up going over to uh, what's it called? A uh, yep yep. We went over there. We we hung out there. We had a few drinks. The music was banging. The club was dope. They got these lights and these VIP booths. And, you know, people is out here stunting. You know, as soon as we got to Silo, they was out there with the with the, with the the big, big boy beamers. And, you know, like even the taxi driver said, he said, I said, he said, um, every day is Christmas here in Cape Town if you got the money. You know what I'm saying? I said, so they about the money here. He said, yeah, they about the money. So um today i went on a tour i went i went to like five locations today so i got some of my tour thing done i went to table mountain i went to cape point i went to uh bocap um uh, we went to i saw the seals i mean not the seals i saw the penguins um you know i went to like five six things today and then you know i'm gonna go to mandela's thing probably tomorrow and you know I, I covered almost everything on my list as far as tourist attractions. It might be one or two more things I can get to, but the city is clean. Um, it's, 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 you know, they got state of the art. The malls are state of the art. We went to that, a big mall. I forgot the name. We went to the big mall, the, you know, state of the art. I'm staying in a dope Airbnb, terrace, big terrace, you know what I mean? So I, even the check-in, I had to put every all my information on the, um, they got the keypad there, you know what I'm saying? They got the intercom. They got the, the keyless uh door with the with the uh, the key. You know what I mean? It, it's it's state of the art. So this it's different than Tanzania. Oh, yeah. Tanzania has that in a certain area, but most of what I saw in Dar es Salaam outside of the main outside of uh, Makat, what's it called? I forget the name. Outside of the main city is rural. Like it's a lot rural in um Dar es Salaam. So this is more like a metropolitan city to me. Okay. Let me read some of the chats real quick, man. Uh, somebody on Facebook. I can't see your name because um it just say Facebook user. Um the difference with Zoe and other cats is he actually comes with valuable content beyond the bras, and even when he does. The third stuff is done tastefully um, with the general public. That NSFW stuff should always be kept private. That is what younger dudes don't understand. Um, I did get a uh, super chat. Shout out to Big Boss Real Talk. Appreciate Big Boss. Bro. What's good, West Coast? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we, we all in the same circle, man. You know, right. we all in the same circle. So I'm, I'm going to scroll through some of the chats. Um, mm -hmm. I just want to continue the conversation. So, um, how is the weather? How is the weather right now in Cape Town? Uh, my boy was here, been here for a week, and he said it was cold. But when I got here, it's about 70. Okay. It's 70, 75 in the daytime. It gets a little cooler at night, but it is actually comfortable. But I heard it was colder, and the weather right now is a little uh, not the norm. So, I guess I got lucky because um, I was able to do some things and go outside with a hoodie or a t-shirt and be good. What's good, Jay Clyde? Yeah, so the weather actually right now, yo, when I went on the um, Capes Bay, cause I did the, the, um, the, I did the bus tour, you know, the jump on, jump off bus tour. Every, I go to cities and do that all the time. Maybe so boring. I hardly never even show that footage, but they went past Capes Bay and people were in bathing suits because the beach, mm -hmm. the sun was hitting the beach and it was it looked hot and people were in the water people were sunbathing it's dope over there that's where the money is those condos they got it's like almost like they're parking on the roof of the building and then you can go down the steps like grease down to the beach cape town is dope cape town is 
it's Cape Town is a space place that you have to come back to. It's not a one time thing because I think it's a lot to see and explore. And I got to come back in the summer now. Oh, and I'm going to swim, swim with the penguins. <laughs> Yo, you, you, you brought up some things, man, that uh, that I kind of felt the same way. I felt like, you know, it was a beautiful city um, going to the mall. Like I've seen a lot of a high, high urban fashion. Like, you know how in the state you, we got we got black. We got places where we shop at, but it's on the right. expensive side, like shoes, expensive jeans. Like I went to some stores, I was like, man, I need that bag. Like <laughs> this ain't no cheap, this ain't no cheap shopping here. You know, what right? I mean? They got money out there. They had Lacoste and Polo, and they when I I didn't then the mall is huge. Mm -hmm. the, the second mall we went to was huge. I didn't even walk the whole thing. I didn't see all that it had to offer because my boy was just really kind of going there to get a SIM card, mm -hmm. and it was it was a Tuesday. So it was like it wasn't it was empty, you know what I mean? So we didn't really stay. But um, yeah, like I'm impressed, man. I'm impressed. Definitely impressed with the city thus far. You know what I mean? Now, Long now, Street, a lot going on down there. That Osaka, we went there. That was like some that was fly. It was crowded. It's dark in there, but it's dope. It's dope. And I was a little bit surprised of how. I knew in the back of my mind that um, there's a lot of white people, white South Africans, you know, uh -huh. and but to see it just refresh your memory. Like, you know, they, this was colonized heavy back in the days. Yeah. So. Um, so, yeah, also, what I was going to say. Um, so, yeah, so this was this is what. You need to let our Latin lovers know. I'm a I'm a Latin American lover, but going to South Africa, <laughs> it's re, it was re, it's refreshing as hell to use your language to speak English. Oh yeah, yeah. How do you feel about just being able to not use translator and to just talk? Like, how does that? How it, does that actually, it actually hit me the other day when I went in the ATM. I got some money and I was looking for the supermarket. And the security guard that was watching the ATM, he, I said, uh, where's the supermarket? And he was like, oh, it's right down the street on the right. You know what I'm saying? It was refreshing to to just to get the information. It was refreshing. I went on a tour. You know, I was just in, in, in um, and put, uh, what's it called? Uh, Parati in, in um, Rio. And, you know. I'm, I'm doing my tour thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm on a tour bus. I'm going to the waterfalls. I'm doing all, I'm, I'm doing a boat ride. And, you know, everybody's speaking Portuguese. You know what I'm saying? But this time I was on, I was on the, uh, of course, I was still the only black guy on the tour. <laughs> still the only black guy on the tour. But it was, uh, it was three people from England and two people from Australia. And they might have spoke other languages, but we were all speaking English. <laughs> the, the tour guide was speaking English. His helper was speaking English. And I actually got the chance to interact with people a little more and show my personality. I had people on the, on, in the van laughing. You know what I'm saying? We were joking. He was asking questions. And I kind of feel like I miss out when I don't know the language. And I'm in these other countries. I mean, literally... When I went to the salt mines and the and the dooms, and when I went to uh, Fortaleza, you know, I was they was they be talking, blah, 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 we go, blah, 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 blah. and I'll be like, oh, even when you try to record them with the tr translate, you know, you might pick up a few words, but it's not the same, and that's why I feel good about going to the Philippines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> even they speak a decent amount of English in Thailand too. You know what I mean? So. I'm feeling good. Those chips are coming up and I'm not going to have to struggle. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so, 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 your, so let us know your initial impression of the lady. So, you know what I mean? So just to give you guys some background, my opinion of Cape Town is different from my opinion of Johannesburg and different from my opinion from Durban. So whatever he's about to say, he's, he's, he's talking about 
Cape Town, not South Africa. So don't right. conflate the two. But go ahead, brother. Honestly, I'm going to keep it 100. Y'all know Zoe keep it 100. No cap. Um, uh, y'all know my thing is tender. Pre-game, on the ground. That's, I meet women through Tinder, you know, or when I go out in a setting, I'll meet women that way. But it's 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 good to meet women. Now, I got a lot of matches, but similar to Tanzania, the women are big here, man. They big, they big, big. You know what I'm saying? Like a whole lot of give it up for the big girls hitting me up. And I'm like, uh-uh, uh-uh. It was a whole lot of left swipes, let's say that, right? And then the ones that I liked that I was matching, and let me tell you, this is how they break it down here. There's black, there's white, and there's colored. That's how they break up the people. The coloreds are all the Indians mixed with black, Indians mixed with white. Um, they got Muslims here. They got Filipinos here. So anybody mixed with anything they call colored, and usually they are lighter shade. But it was a girl at the club who was dark, but she had that curly, coolie hair. But yeah, so so when I y'all know I like I like like y'all see what I be working with. <laughs> I like a little higher level attractive women than I think some of the average guys because certain things. You know, y'all y'all see what I be working with, right? So the girls that's at the level that I like, I've been like having to really communicate with them, like going back and forth. Like Shorty's been like, I'm working. Let's try a hook up this weekend. You know what I'm saying? Shorty was like, Oh, I've been partying a little bit. My funds is low. Um, hit me up before you leave. We could try to hook up. Like, so the ones that I like, that's kind of like up there. They not easy to get, you know what I'm saying? Now the big girls, they like, yeah, you know, let's hook up, but that's not what I want. So the bad joints and it's it's girls doing things. I also notice uh, on Tinder a lot of the girls are saying, "I'm looking for a serious relationship. I'm not on here for hookups." Like I've I've seen that on Tinder here in. Cape Town or South Africa, because sometimes girls from Durban get thrown in there more than I've seen anywhere else. They looking for a serious relationship. They like, don't even bother if you're trying to hook up. One bad joint. Once she found out that I didn't live here and I was visiting, she said, oh, I, ain't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't mess around with tourists. And she was bad, yo. She was, I was like, you know, you know how you see one and you be like, yeah, I'm going after that one. I think I gave her a star rating. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but she shut me down once she saw, said that I, I don't live here. She shut me down. You know what I mean? So they got pretty girls. But I'm in, in Africa in general, the women are heavy. You know what I'm saying? So far what I see. And the women know how to make themselves, like all of them have this. They have a picture where they look better. Like, like if they are five, they got a picture that make them look like a seven. Mm -hmm. Then they got a picture that make them look like a six. Then they got a picture that make them look like a five. Like they all will have a picture with braids, a picture with a wig, and a picture with a Caesar. And I'd be like, <laughs> they it's like a Caesar under there, yo. And I'm like, yo. I like I like authenticity, you know what I'm saying? So if you got a Caesar, rock the Caesar. You know what I'm saying? Like the wig game out here is crazy. <laughs> my opinion. The wig out, and I went to the club, they got some beautiful girls, but they got some big girls, you know what I'm saying? When I you say big, you mean like stomach or just bottom heavy? The whole thing big. Okay. Like let me give you an example. I, I said, and I, I was just doing this for myself. I had to screenshot some of, okay, big joint. Big joint. I just wanted to screenshot okay, yeah, some yeah. Of big joint. Like they, big joints. You feel me? See, this is the average big joints. See, and I, that was, 
to be to keep it a bean, that wasn't typical for me, to be honest with you. Really? Not well, really. Tinder, you know Tinder is a reflection of what's there. When you go on Tinder in Colombia, when you get there, that's what's there. When you go on Tinder in Brazil, when you go Tinder in Thailand, it was similar when I had it when I was going to Tanzania. I had to shut a lot of them down too, because it was a lot of big girls. Now, let me say this. I saw my man, shout out to um BMO. Uh -huh. I seen Jamel and um they had some oh, bad down there. I forgot yeah, that. I know. He, he left when the day I got here. Now they had some bad joints with them. Now, where they got them, I don't know, but one of his friends was here for like two months, so maybe he plugged in with the with the with the higher class joints. You know what I'm saying? But and they was all bad. But I'm saying on average, even in the street, it's a lot of big girls. Now, I, I, I would say this. I didn't really strike, I didn't do well in Cape Town. You know what I mean? I had I probably had one. She was she was thick, you know. What I mean, I will say that she was because she was pretty, um, mm -hmm. but she wanted she expected well, she expected me to spend that bag, you know, and that and that was something that turned me off about women in Cape Town. Like they expect you to pop bottles on a regular day, going out mm -hmm. to eat. You know, I went to Ayepi Yepi, the same club you went to, bought a bottle, got a hookah, spent like almost two hundred dollars, and it wasn't even like like the main day of the week. I'm like, come on, like. <laughs> sure, sure, you came to our table. Oh, can we order hookah? I was like, nope, I don't like smoke. I don't like to smoke. You feel me? Like, nah, we not doing that. You can have a beer, you can have a beer. Nah, I'm not doing that. Zoe's not doing that. <laughs> how, how, how was the crowd? How was the crowd in it? Uh, it was a younger crowd, but it was Monday. So today, Thursday, we supposed to go out today. My man, he got uh, gout on his foot. You know what I mean? We can't go out. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't want to go by myself. Man, go by I, yourself. Can't I, 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 it's early. It's, well, it's like almost 9 o'clock now. But yeah, I might have to slide to something by myself tonight, man. It ain't no curfew, right? It's, 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 um... No, but yeah, no, it ain't no curfew because we was in... We was at uh, Cubana for like two in the morning. They said they was closing at four, and Cubana is is they it love the they love the fight in there. Even my my um tour guy was like they always fighting in there. Chick smack the chick in there. I'm gonna tell you one thing. They say African Americans they not the same as Africans. Nah, we the same niggas because <laughs> we act like niggas. Loud, unruly, fighting. Disrespectful. It's the same actions. They ain't no different. Mm -hmm. they, they, from what I saw, they ain't no different. They come in a spot. They try to get a section. They try to floss. Same thing when I was in when uh, when I was in um Dar Salaam, buying bottles, flossing. Listen, we 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 more than cousins. They try to say we different. No, we're not. <laughs> 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 go on and slide out, man. Yeah, I, I know um, yeah. one of the homies, Drew Travels, he a South African YouTuber. He he, he lived in Cape Town. He in Tanzania right now. Yeah, um, I, saw, I, think I saw your interview with him. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm going to see if there's some spots that maybe. They were eyeing me, though. I don't want them to. I got on, I got on these, man. Ooh, 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 ooh. You know what I'm saying? I don't want them to be like, you know, run them shit, so I think. <laughs> Some kids ran up on me. It was like, oh, oh my God. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they ain't seen this out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they ain't seen these. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I might go out. I mean, I'm used to it, but I just I just hate being a solo traveler, be all up in the club by yourself. You feel me? Like you look like, like a fish out of water. You know what I'm saying? It, being by yourself don't help you get girls. It makes you look weird. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta go the extra mile to get a girl when you by yourself. That's how you probably end up getting a section, buying a bottle, you know what I'm saying? To bring people over to you. You know what I mean? I don't really drink like that. So it's just like, you gotta talk to a girl when you go to a club by yourself. But that's why you, that's why you bring a tender joint, man. Be like, come, come, 
come put me on to Cape Town. You know what I mean? I'm trying to, but the nice joints is like I gotta work. Let's hang out on the weekend. You know what I'm saying? The joints that I want to hang out with, they ain't easy. You feel me? <laughs> no, okay. There's a nice ones I got on 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 the line. You know what I mean? No, no, I feel you. Um, I feel you. I felt like that when I when um when you left me hanging in Durban, man. I was like, shit, man. I gotta get this footage, man. I got to get out, man. I didn't want to go out by myself either, but I was like, man, I got to get some footage. But I, I was glad that I did. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, so. Um, I got to get it, too. I got to get it, too. That's why I might just go, man. I, where do you think I should go tonight? To be honest with you, Cape Town is like a Thursday night through Sunday city. Yeah. It's tonight not, is Thursday. It's, it's not a seven-day-a-week city, and I tell guys that, like, yeah. That's why I like other certain cities. Like that's why I like Durban better because it's like a seven days a week city. But Cape right. Town is pretty much a small, a, a short weekend city. So um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna send you some spots to go to. Um, yeah, I, I, mean, I got a list. I got a list to go to, but which one you think I should go to? The sneaker joint. I would hit up. I would hit up Belize too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I would hit a Belize too. All right. Osaka was packed on Tuesday. Like you couldn't barely even walk around in there. But mm -hmm. it's so dark. I tried to film, but you can't see anything. They got um, I think they dark. got a new I think they got a news news cafe. Um Dab said Capello. Capello was good. Capello and Durban is good. So I'm assuming it might be a I'm assuming it should be good in Cape Town. Um actually I yet be be popping. Now you went on a day, come on a weekend, you know. They so um, I would check that out again. I was following a, I followed a page on um, on Instagram too. I gotta look it up and send it to you though. But yeah, it's 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 some definitely some spots. Um, matter of fact, it's, a, it's definitely some spots you can hit up. But yeah, I would say um, yeah, try Capello. Because if I go to Long Street, I could go to the sneaker joint and Capello because they both on Long Street, right? Yeah. Yeah, get, yeah, get, yeah, get some, get some footage, man. You know, um, yeah. I'm trying to think of what else. Um, I wanted to ask you about K Town, man. Uh, so you said you would, uh, you would come back. Um, yep. why, why should brothers give South Africa? I would, yeah, why, why should brother give South Africa a chance based on what you've seen so far? Um, I think one is a dope city. You're gonna get everything you need. It's gonna help you get away from maybe the simplicities of places like um, Cartagena. You know, Cartagena, y'all brothers gotta grow. You know, what I mean, Cartagena is 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 getting overrun with the brothers down there. They starting to um, disrespect us, disrespect our dollar. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, they feel like y'all suckers. You know, what I'm saying they they. You know, what I'm saying like they. I know. They looking like how they look at us in Dominican Republic. Like, they really like feeling themselves. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you going to meet women, you got to expand your horizons, man. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion. But then again, like certain brothers told me, I travel for girls. I don't travel for all that other stuff. So maybe if all you do is travel for girls, then you don't need to come here. But if you travel for more than girls, then I would say come here. You know what I mean? Because the beaches are beautiful. You know what I mean? Just the shoreline when you up on them, they got the mountain. You know how they did the commercial with the when BMW and Mercedes went full speed around the mountaintop. Like they got sites like that where they shot the Fast and the Furious um, scenes here and movies here. Like the, the scenic part. The um, Table Mountain is almost like the Grand Canyon. You know what I mean? If you've ever been in the Grand Canyon, it's like that, but it's, it's chilly up there, maybe because it's in the wintertime, but it's that kind of scenic type of thing there. You know what I mean? Like, where can you go and just see penguins on the beach and, and stuff like that, you know? But then again, that's it. They got the wine hairs off the hook. You know what I'm saying? You could go to vineyards here. And, that, you know, that's just a little few things that I, that I touched on on this trip there's even more you know what i mean if you're a real traveler 
I would say come. If you want to feel in tune with the motherland, I would say come. And still have all the amenities that you used to, I would say come, come to South Africa, come to Cape Town. And I met a couple on the beach when I was in uh, Brazil. Mm -hmm. We was on Ipanema. And you know, they saw, saw speaking English and they talked, started talking to me and they were from Cape Town. And they was like, you gotta go to Cape Town. They was like, you gotta go. They said, Cape Town is off the hook. They said, you're gonna have fun. And they was right. You know what I'm saying? They were right. Okay, okay. So how many more days in Cape Town till you go to Durban, man? I'm probably going to stay until Sunday, and Sunday I'm going to go to Durban. That's what the, the plan looked like. So I've always been here like six days, I believe. You're spending a lot of time in Cape Town. Okay. You think so? And I feel like it's not enough time. I think, well, it depends on how long you plan on staying in South Africa, but you, I, I would definitely spend more time in Durban than Cape Town. Well, it's going to be equal. It's going to be equal? Okay. Yeah, like six days and six days. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and I got a list of things to do in Durban from when we were going to go and when I was doing research, and then the information you gave me. So I had more information on Durban than Cape Town. I had to try to like get the information for Cape Town on the back end because <laughs> you know what I mean. But I'm glad I came here. I'm glad I came here, <laughs> and I'm still like for, for Johannesburg because Jamel was like, "Yo." I think you're going to regret not going to Johannesburg, <laughs> but I'm going to come back. Yeah, Johannesburg is an international airport destination, so you can always connect in Johannesburg. And, right. you know, I say you ain't you ain't missing anything, but I'm going to get people going to be at my neck with that. <laughs> uh, Trey D-Man says, Zogo mess around and get married messing with them Zulu women, man. <laughs> No, I ain't getting married again. You ain't got to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta go. I want to show y'all. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. No. No. Um, yeah, I want to show y'all um, International Zoe Barber World TV, his channel, just the home page. So he already got a couple videos up on Cape Town. Um, and he might sneak in a late night Thursday before we leave Cape Town again. I'm. Just make sure y'all subscribed. <laughs> Catch that. <laughs> yeah, if you if you ain't subscribed, you probably ain't gonna see it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you, yeah, you're not gonna see. It. I'm gonna post this. I'm gonna post this link uh, also in the um, mm -hmm. in the chat. You know, um, but yeah, man. Just uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make sure I get. Um, if I didn't send you any any recommendations. That I'm gonna send you some new recommendations um, mm -hmm. from Cape Town, and then um, yeah, whatever I gotta do to make sure your Durban trip is um is a success. <laughs> you know, um, I was like, man, I'm gonna buy this brother flight. <laughs> I, I'm gonna I'm 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 see you. I'm gonna send you something about it. So I need you need to cover Durban because I talk about it too much. And right. Right. Everybody, everybody, hit up uh, Johannesburg and Cape Town. Right. Come on, because I, I hit up somebody from um the Black Man's Option group. Uh-huh. Was out there. I was like, did y'all hit up Durban? They was like, no, nah, just Johannesburg and um and Cape Town. Cape Town. Was, yeah. You know. I got my shorts. I got my shorts. So I, I want to wear them. You know, I want to go to a little warmer climate. So it looks like I'm the only setback is I I have to fly back here or I have to fly to Joburg to go home because it ain't no international flights out of Durban. You know what I'm saying? If it was, it would be a no brainer. You know what I mean? It would be no brainer. Man, chalk it up, bro. Just, just, yeah. just chalk it up. <laughs> you out there, you out there, man. You know what I mean? And uh, you're going to be in good hands, man. You're going to be in good yeah. hands. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, bro, I don't want to uh, take up too much of your time, man. Um, any closing thoughts for anybody out there? Um, just check out the channel. I added the international Zoe Barber World TV. You know, it's been Barber World TV for a long time. And I'm, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, let people clearly know that it's a travel channel now. And I'm not going to be doing too much barber stuff. I haven't 
in a long time. So I think it's time is a wise strategic uh, move to just change it to international zoo. So that's why it's international zoo bar world TV. And then maybe in six months, I'll just drop the bar world TV and put international zoo and maybe abbreviate Barber world TV. I'm going to give that a shot. You know what I mean? Because I think people, when they see it or see the name, they don't, they might not click on it because they, they thinking that it's, a, it's Barber. You know what I mean? I mean, I still have been fortunate that people know that watch the channel know that it's travel content, but I think someone that has no idea is a little harder for them to stumble upon the channel when it says Barber World TV, because they just think, oh, that's some Barber stuff. You know what I mean? So I think it's just, you know, it's time to, it's a risk, but I think it's still the right move. You know what I mean? It's step back, one step back, two steps or three steps forward. No, it makes sense, man. Cause I mean, sometimes I used to it used to be hard for me to remember your name. Is it Barber World TV or World Barber TV? But International yeah. Zoo is pretty, pretty easy. You know? Yeah, that's easy to, easy to um to 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 do. You know, what I mean, don't get me wrong. I still love Barber World TV. That's my thing. But I just, I just, you know, I think it's time to um make that transition. I thought on it for a while. I got some feedback from my audience, but you know, as most bosses. The boss make the final decision. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, I feel so, you, man. The only thing <laughs> is, man, when you change them names, if yeah. people are tagging you in their videos, they lose that tag. So it's like, yeah, I, gotta, yeah. uh, I gotta re-tag you, you know. But yeah. It is what it is. I know it's gonna be some setbacks, but I think eventually people are gonna get it. I mean, I'm not gonna lose the people that are already rolling with me. And it might help me get some new people. I just, I just got to, you know, work on it. And, and, you know, it is what it is. You know, I just think it's time to, to afford to be clean. SEO search engines and all that stuff to know that it's travel channel. You know, facts, 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 man. So, yeah. your boy International Zoe, he's gonna hit up Durban next. You know what I mean? We're gonna be back after he completes that, uh, that trip. Hopefully, mm -hmm. my skip my travel schedule. Our travel schedules lined up. Either we could link in Salvador. Um, I do want to hit Zimbabwe up. I do want to yeah. hit Zimbabwe, um, but we'll we'll figure it out, man. So you and you said you might. You said you plan on going to um, Thailand um, next and, and the Philippines. Thailand and the Philippines. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. You gonna link with Zoom? Uh, I'm gonna try to. That's the plan, you know. I, we spoke. We've spoken. And so I think while, while I'm here, I could get catch him for an interview. You know, I like to do my interviews in person, so that would be cool for me. You know, what I mean, to uh, hook up with the brother. You know, it won't be my first time to Thailand, but um, it's been a minute. You know, it, Thailand is definitely like my 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 most fun. I think. I, so I have to go a few more times to be sure that it's my most fun place. You know what I mean? Okay. And, and Philippines is up there too. I just, I like go getting away that far. I like the cultures are so much different that it's intriguing too. Like Dominican Republic, Brazil, the cultures are different, but it's still black people. You know what I mean? So there's some similarities in the way we move. You know what I'm saying? Our bravado. You know th th those similar things, but when you go into Southeast Asia, it's totally different. To me, it's like it's as most different as you can get. You know what I'm saying? I think. You know what I mean? I think we even have more in common if we went to European countries with mm -hmm. the people, with the women. But I think when you go into Asia, it's, it changes even more. You know? Right. What I, what, I, what I do appreciate about Thailand and even the Philippines is that from a nightlife perspective, you get hip hop. I don't get hip hop in Colombia and Brazil. Yeah. You know what I mean? So as far as me getting turned up in the club, even though I'm older, like them, them South African, like South Africa, the vibes in the clubs is cool, cool with the music. Eh, well, the well, the clubs that play hip hop in those places is only clubs with working girls. True. But you do get some hip hop in there. I mean, I mean, they're probably doing it to cater to us. But I understand what you're saying. You're not going to get 
And that that Anna Piano and that other stuff they doing here in Africa is off the hook too. Like they that the, the music is strong here. Mm-hmm. Even though they was playing hip hop too, I can really get with that 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 music. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it's like it's soul music. You know what I'm saying? It's soul music. It's it's and they love to dance, man. Like dudes be dancing here like how we used to dance back in the days and. America in in New York, like you would see guys dancing, and then that kind of like stop. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was just lean back, lean back, and all this two step. So it kind of like we got away from dancing, and like dudes be seriously dancing, and women be seriously dancing in these African countries, which I enjoy. Like they they like dudes was like seriously dancing. You know what I mean? Like I was like, oh shit. Dudes is really dancing like they like older dudes too. Like they couldn't help themselves. Like the music is that strong that you gonna dance. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I like it, man. Yeah, I love it, man. I could talk. I could talk South Africa all day, man. But um, yeah, I ain't gonna hold you up, man. Please, if y'all out there, if y'all not subscribed to um, International Zoe Barber World TV, please subscribe. I put the link in the um. The link is gonna yeah. be in the description. You could just click on it. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed to No Excuse, please subscribe. If you're streaming on the Passport Bros podcast, please subscribe. Um, get them likes up. It helps the algorithm. It helps get this content in front of more people. You know what I mean? Because No Excuse is planning on bringing y'all what y'all want to see, man. So, man, enjoy yourself tonight, bro. I'm going to send you some. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to get you some extra spots, man. And we're going right. to be up on this joint in a couple of weeks. No doubt. Thanks for having me on the channel. And you know, I say y'all subscribe to him because he's he's making good contacts. He's talking to the right people. He's talking to travelers. He's sharing information and um it's positive. So, you know, all for all the guys out there traveling and doing your, your thing, doing your contact, you know, just stay positive, man. That's that's what we need, man. We don't need to be fighting each other and all that stuff online and on social media. It, you know, there's enough room for everybody to eat and have fun. And we all got our opinions about each other. But, you know, that's something I keep in the comfort of my own home. You feel me? <laughs> and if I want to tell you, I'll tell you face to face. You know, we got to we got to stop that. You know what I'm saying? Let's just, you know what I'm saying? Keep If you ain't got like your mom used to say, you ain't got nothing good to say, don't say nothing. Facts, facts. Okay. Facts. <laughs> yeah. That's facts, man. Passport bros, we don't want to... We don't want to, you don't want me to say that, but us bros. Past I don't, I mean, it's, I, I mean, I know what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? I definitely know what you're saying. And yeah, I got my pass. Speaking of passports, I got passport um, wallets that I'm going to give to, like, I got to figure out how I'm going to do it. I want to give that to some of my subscribers who get their passport, like in a certain amount of time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I need to see a fresh, clean passport with no stamps in it yet. And you get a passport wallet. <laughs> a Lacoste. Because I'm dropping the eyes out. Polo too expensive, man. I got y'all on a Lacoste. <laughs> That's dope, man. That's dope, man. <laughs> All right, cool, man. Well, when we talk again, man, we gonna, I didn't get to talk about food. Some other cultural stuff, but I'm gonna let you stay around for a while before we get into some other questions. So King, King Clip, King Clip fish. Y'all know I eat my fish. The King Clip is a slamming fish here. That's what y'all wanna have. If y'all like fish, mm-hmm. that's the national fish or whatever that's only you can get here. That's slamming. King Clip. King Clip. That's the fish you want to get when you when you hit a nice restaurant or something. That's the slamming fish. It's, it's, it's a meaty fish. It's white fish. It's, it's flaky. That's the joint you want. That's the best food I had. I had it twice, and I went to other restaurants. Mm-hmm. That's the best food I had here. Oh, yeah, man. yeah. Cool, cool, man. Well, y'all stay tuned, man. This Sunday, um, I'm dropping a video. I did a one-on-one with a girl, Zulu girl from Durban. So I'm going to premiere that on Sunday because I'm going to be traveling, so I'm not going to do a live. So y'all... Mm-hmm. I'm only going to leave it up for a short amount of time because. And know. congratulations on, on your, you know, your wedding, you know, congratulations. I was traveling. I couldn't get there, but congratulations, brother. Oh, you you, you you're official international. You, you got married internationally. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 
Yeah, man. But the, the show must go on, but I gotta do it. I gotta do. I gotta be. Uh, I gotta change it up. But I'm. I'm still gonna be promoting. Um, you know, travel for dating relationships. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Relocation, all that good stuff, man. So yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, tune in this Sunday. Um, same time. I'm only gonna keep it up for a short amount of time because the wife don't really like me putting old stuff like that but she understand you know what i mean like it's content yeah. so y'all right. make sure y'all check it out man and i'll, I'll catch up with y'all boys later peace out peace